Hello everybody, welcome to another Stargazer game with me, Analyst Elikazams, and the St. Louis Selgalios. What's up? This time we've got the New Jersey Dracos versus the Clombrook Kyogres. Two teams looking to pick up their first win. Are they both 0-2? They crazy. are both 0-2. Alright, we lead with Sneasler versus King Gambit. Pretty great lead for uh, Crook. Let's see if he uh, tries to be aggressive in U-turns here, predicting the switch out to either Gardakuno or uh, maybe Al Creamy if he wants to be really aggressive. I'm guessing since this thing's leading, uh, this might actually be like a banded or scarfed Sneasler. Uh, if it's banded Sneasler, you know, with Poison Point, U-turn seems pretty free to me. I mean, Poison Touch? Poison Touch, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, it can't poison the gambit, but it definitely is. Uh, yeah, U turn. Yep, there's the U turn. Big. No poison touch, which means it still could be unburdened for later in the game if it is still banded. Well, it can't be banded then, but. Yeah. Crook comes out. This could be a scarf crocodile. That's kind of how he's playing it, in my opinion, because uh, Gardakudo does naturally outspeed crocodile. Yeah, the question is does he go for an earthquake or. Just oh, knock just off. Knock off. It is Scarf, it is Knockoff, Boxy Boost, plus one. Uh, I'm guessing Clombrock couldn't recognize that it was Scarf, maybe, which is uh, a little odd. This is a decent opportunity to go out to Alcremie and set up a move, because you know this is a Scarf Crocodile. <laughs> Unless, of yeah. course, it could not be Scarf and just the Gardakuno wasn't max speed, because they are close. I think they're both in the 90s, if I remember correctly. I think Gardakuno is 95, and this yeah. thing is like... 90 something 91 91 i think yeah. it's 91 so it, this thing could just be max speed and gardakuna was like defensive calm mind something like that it it, it, it it's all on the knowledge that clombrook has because he knows his set, own set he does go out creamy basically saying this thing's scarf and he's going to try and set up here it actually looks pretty good the setup um it does until like, the sneezer comes in and still bops it with a gunk shot I mean, it's going to Terra, is what I'm thinking. If it's Terra Poison, and he goes for Acid Armor here, it actually looks pretty bad for Crook. Uh, but, I mean, he has the two Psychic types, so it's probably Terra Steel, if I had to guess. I was going to say, there is still a Dio Speed and an NDD. Yeah, yeah, he's probably Steel, if I had to guess the typing. <laughs> I'm guessing this turn he doesn't Terra, though. He just goes for Calm Mind or Acid Armor. Alright, Steezer comes out. Yep, Acid Armor. Makes sense. Okay. About what we expected, right? So he's going to Terra here. Uh, I don't remember... The exa I know it's Fairy. I'm pretty sure it's Poison. I if the Lies to Steel, that's probably what he is. If it's Water, I think Water actually looks really good here, just because it's neutral for everything. Yeah, that would definitely be the best bet. But my guess is he Terra's here and he Calm Mines. Or he goes for another does, Acid Armor. Does Haze affect... Or does it still work even with, like... Uh, Aroma Veil? Yeah, I believe Haze will work. If Crook has Haze on anything, which I don't know if anything on yeah, his team I, I don't see a thing that has haze. it. He could have, like, um, Dragon Tail on Crocodile, but I doubt it, because he's Scarf. Yeah. Yep, yeah he does Terra Poison. poison. All right, but that, that's making the Terra. Yeah, but, but this is fine, because you can just go in DD. No. Yeah. Either in DD or Crook, honestly. Either or is fine. I wouldn't recommend Crook just because, yeah, he's going to go for another here's defense armor. boost. And here's the strongest expanding force you've ever seen. Well, not strongest, but... Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a crazy expanding force. He could go a Gambit, but I think Crook should honestly be fine with that and just literally go for expanding force anyways. Yeah, you definitely it, just click expanding force here. There's if, no reason why If he gets do. too cheeky and, like, tries to do something that he shouldn't... He could trick, actually. Maybe a trick. No, just expanding force. That's fine. You get to go Colossal or Crocodile, and he can't Sucker Punch at all. Honestly, you could straight up go Terrapagos too, if you were, if you really wanted to as well. Yeah. Probably not one of the best plays, but it's something, it's a play you could make. Colossal has a pretty good chance to proc Flame Body, 30%. Yeah. You get a, you get a Stealth Rocks or Spike, he has no way of getting rid of it. I think that's probably the technically best play. Yeah, rocks are definitely really good, especially for that ogre pond that's in the back. Yeah. It makes it take 25% every single time it comes in. Yeah. 
Does indeed get any fighting coverage? Um, I think it does get like last. Wait, can't this indeed just Terra and then? That does a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. But he could just earthquake spam. Actually, he's scarf for earthquake. Oh. Isn't he like? Yeah, I, I guess it depends on the swapper. Doesn't he like get a kill here? Um, because he's scared. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's really close. Yeah, earthquake is really, really free. Depends. He just close combat. Oh, just I don't, CCs. I don't, I don't really get that. Um, I mean, it, yeah, I don't agree with that. I think earthquake was like perfectly valid. Um, now he goes to rop. Flip. Yep. Loses his shell on a crit. Oh, the crit. That's tough. Um, I don't know who comes out here. Maybe Alcremi trying to set up again. Um, the, the Alcremi being poisoned is kind of bad now. Cause... Could be Alcremi, but I think it also could just be Raging Bolt or Ogre Pond. Yeah, one of those guys can kind of just come out. It's a free setup turn on either or. It's proto special. This could easily just be a calm mind um, from the raging bolt. The the most important thing to remember here is that there's no thunderclap because psychic terrain is up. Yeah, for the next two turns at least, and then indeed he can get it back up after. Obviously, outspeed. There's decent chance. A lot. Is that specs? No, it's water leftovers. Oh yeah, that's right. Duh. I we already saw that. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't use Crit my brain. Crit tough oh, scene. Really that's tough so scene. So tough. I, I think it would have died because it was plus one. It, like, if it was Draco Meteor there, the Tropicus probably dies. So it's... Oh, uh, yeah. That's an unfortunate that is, situation. That is very tough. If game comes down to that, I'm gonna... It's it's gonna be real, really tough for Klonberg. Yeah, I, I don't know if it will because I think it's looking pretty bad for Klonberg regardless, but we'll see. Yeah. He doesn't really know what to send out. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it... Could be Ogre Pond, get a Trailblaze, try to get an S2. Well, no, that Terra Star Storm. The Star Storm's gonna, gonna do like truck. 70. He doesn't have it, it's probably Gambit. I think you have to go Gambit, you have to click Kowtow or Sword he's got, Stance. He's got his ability Iron back, Head. so. Yeah. He's resisting anything. And he's just gonna be able to hit him with a move. Because I assume he probably has Earth Power, if I had to guess. Or, uh. Uh, yeah. I think you're gonna have to. I think Crook um, has played pretty good so far. Yeah, there's the Gambit. I, I do think the the close combat from Crocodile was a little unnecessary, but it didn't I think really... I think it definitely should have just been Earthquake. Aura has Sphere. Aura Sphere. It doesn't really do any damage. That. But he resists Low that because he's at 100 thanks to the leftovers. Now it can Sucker Punch. It's going to do like 30%, 40%, and then he's going to die. And yeah. This thing's gonna actually probably get another kill after this too. This Tropicus is actually kind of going crazy right now. It is going absolutely nuts because of that crit. And Psychic Terrain into Clonbrook's team is so good. It eliminates Bolt's main yeah, thing 40%. of like damage dealing. King Gamut can't sucker punch. Ogre Pond. I mean, you just Terra to Star Storm. It does seventy if he tries to set up, and if he doesn't try to set up. He probably oh, he switches. straight goes colossal. I, I don't agree with that. This thing gets high horsepower and could easily mess this yeah. thing up. Well, it's gonna be Terra. I guess it's Terra now. I I do think um, not going for Terra Star Storm is like a way you could lose this game. Like just just I know he's trying to preserve differential. Just click the move. It does like seventy percent to this thing. And yeah, you, you should be fine. Yeah. Because then you can just go Sneasler after, and then like Sneasler kind of just cleans the game. Yeah, he horn leeches, power gem. Power gem. I wonder uh, what the Terra is on this colossal. Uh, probably ghost if I had to guess. He because yeah, now he's horn leeching again. He's gonna live. He doesn't seem to have trailblaze, which is really good for Crook. Really fortunate. Like, I like the idea of horn leeching the second time, but I don't know why the first time you don't just click high horsepower unless you don't have it. But I don't know yeah. what other move you would have. Oh, he's got Ivy Cudgel. Trailblaze Cudgel. I guess Cudgel horn leech. Yeah, he, he, he no no trailblaze is unfortunate, obviously. Um, I almost want to say it is trailblaze though, but like he's not going. What's for the it. last move if it if it isn't trailblaze? Is my question. I mean, I know you can't trailblaze on the colossal, but could have trailblaze on the switch turn. Not that it really would have helped you here, but 
So I guess I guess it is probably likely trailblaze. It just wasn't great in the last two scenarios. I think that sense. last turn he could have trailblaze. I think now this is just earthquakes all day. Yeah, he's just gonna all earth day every day. He's gonna earthquake three times and win the game, or four times because Swampert needs two. I say I think it's gotta be four. But he, he can't switch Swampert, so he's gonna have to sack something, then go Swampert, then Crook switches. Because uh, it lives one. Yeah. So he has to decide what to sack. It's gonna be out creamy, looks like. Yep. Or actually, it's gonna be a plus one attack. He might actually just kill Swampert. Yeah, now that. It, yeah, the, the play was definitely going Swampert first. Well, if he went Swampert first, he would have died to two earthquakes. So, because he's at 71. It, I guess, yeah. It, it, there it was, depends it, on if this kills, now. Yeah, I think this probably doesn't kill. It's close. It's close, and it depends on the swamp. Yeah, he just switches, which is smart. Flip. I wonder if this is a Scarf and DD. I like Scarf and DD. I ran it a lot when I had in DD. Um, I think it very well could be. I mean, even if it isn't, he just goes Crook right after. It is... It is not. He just dies. All right. Dio speed makes sense. Just expanding force a few times and you win. Yup, expanding force is super free, and it is G G Crook wins four O, or at least it should be. I mean, yeah, he could live and then knockoff comes out, but no, he doesn't. He just dies, and it's over. Yeah, no, that that looks like honestly specs Deoxys, right. but good game all around. Uh, Crook played good, gets his first win. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.